of products today. Just in order to get an idea for the difference between what it says on the front and what it really says. So when you see this package, what do you, what do you see? What what does what do you think about great grain cereal? Okay, it's got fiber. On the front, it says supports a healthy metabolism. It tells you that it does not have, uh, or that it's got a lot of protein with milk in it. It's got 12 grams. And of interest down here, it says that this product contains no GMO. Let's back up on the GMOs for just a minute because that is a, a, a buzzword and a catchphrase right now. Who knows what products have our GMO products? Is anybody? Right now there's three main crops in the U.S. that are GMOs. Cotton, soybeans, and corn. <laughs> So what does that tell you about this product? Doesn't have any cotton in it, what a surprise that is. Doesn't have any soy in it, and it doesn't have any corn. But that's all it tells you. It's nothing of importance. And then we have this cereal, multigrain, more grains, less you. It has 110 calories and five whole grains. And it's sweetened with whole grain cereal with real peanut butter. Sounds pretty healthy and good, doesn't it? But I'm gonna go on the back and read the list of ingredients here. I hope this one's on this side. The first whole grain is corn. Do we really consider corn a whole grain when we're thinking of it? Corn tends to be more of a fluff than most of them. The next item in here is sugar. What a surprise. Then comes peanut butter. So where are our whole grains? Ah, we've got way down the list. We've got whole grain oats, whole grain sorghum, whole grain barley, whole grain rice. Now we get into the interesting stuff. We've already had sugar, but we also have corn syrup, dextrose is sugar, salt, and then we've got some oils and some things that I can't pronounce. There is a rule of thumb that some people will tell you, don't buy a package that has uh, more than five ingredients. That, that's kind of limiting, that's kind of artificial. But they also say, don't buy a, a package that's got something in it that you can't pronounce. And unless it's something like legumes or something of that nature that you're not real comfortable with, that's not a good idea, or is it a good idea? If you can't pronounce it, you probably don't know what it, it is, and it's probably something that's made chemically and artificially. Okay, now we're going to get to this. This is the food label that I was, or a portion of that I was, was reading to you, and if you notice, it's divided into sections. The first section, Nutrition Facts, has one of the most important items. Let me see if I can do this so everybody can see it. That one of the, the most important items on this label is the serving size. In this case, it's six crackers. So if you eat 12 crackers, how many servings have you had? Two. Two. Okay, let's move down. How many calories per serving? 120. If you eat six crackers, you have consumed 120 calories. If you ate 12 crackers, how many calories have you eaten? 240. Yes. And of course, if you only eat half, or what about the broken cracker? Does that one count? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it tells you calories from fat. And in this case, it's, it's 40 calories. So, um, let's see where we're gonna go with this one. 
Down at the bottom is the daily values for each t food item that is that the, uh, the government recommends for us. Some of the items they recommend that you eat less of. Those are the ones up here. It's the fats and uh, cholesterol and sodium. In that case, on your food label, it says eat less than. And then they li list the, uh, the, the, the numbers for it. Other items, like carbohydrates and fiber, they want us to eat more of. So that those don't say eat less than. And no matter what label you look at, all these products I've got, if it has this on it, it's all the same. It doesn't change. It doesn't matter what's in the package. The daily uh, food uh, requirements are the same. Now what's important here is that this is based on a 2,000 calorie a day diet. And when I started doing this, my first question was, well, who is the person that eats 2,000 calories a day? Uh, I looked at my 17-year-old grandson who runs track and has about 4% body weight. He better be eating about 4,000 calories a day to maintain his growth. If I ate 2,000 calories a day, I would be going this way. So, the first exercise I want us to do is to figure out how many calories we should be eating. So, in your handouts, not sure what I did with mine, I'm not walking around here. Okay, we've got my calorie level. The first thing we want to do, if you notice this, it's females at the top, males on the bottom. So find the area that's appropriate for you. Then the next question is, are you sedentary? If you are, then the only you only get light physical exercise, and that's what's associated with what you do every day. That's if you're sitting at a desk most of the day, if you watch a lot of television, if you love to read, and that is what you do most, then you're sedentary. That's one level of activity. Then there's moderately active. That means you get about 30 minutes a day of physical activity in addition to what you do. Now those of us who are gardeners, if you're <coughs> deadheading, you're probably sedentary. If you're digging, moving pots, filling up pots, doing the heavy work, that probably moves on into the moderately active. And finally, the last one, if you're active, you get 60 or more minutes a day of moderate physical activity in addition to daily activities. So that's a whole lot more activity. So on your chart, find male or female is appropriate, find your age, and then decide which level of activity you are. And then that tells you how many calories you should have every day and write it down in the box. <clears throat> Is that as clear as mine? Are we ready to go on? Has everybody found their calories? Okay. Turn the page. Take that some, the same number of calories that you determined and put it down here in the middle of the page. This page tells you what you should eat based on that diet. If you are a 2,000 calorie a day person, on the chart it says the 2,000. Then under fruits, you should be eating two cups. Under grains, you should be eating six ounces or the equivalent of. 
Dairy is three cups. Do y'all see that? Make sense? Okay. Then step two is the next page. Take a minute and look at each of the food groups, like fruits, and write down how much you should be 